Live from London, Fight Star Championship presents three three-minute rounds in the amateur flyweight division, sponsored by Jack Life. Introducing first in the blue corner with a record of seven wins and five defeats, weighing in at 125 pounds, representing Combat Sports Academy from England, Jordan Malhinari. And his opponent in the red corner with a record of three wins and one defeat, weighing in at 125 pounds, representing ESKF from Somalia, Sabir Hussein. Your referee in charge of the action, Harry Selby. Welcome to the main card of Five Star Championship 23. We kick it off with the Jordan Monolari from Combat Sports Academy in the blue corner, his opponent. Sabir Hussein from ESKF in the red. Mm, Sabir with that real nice low, low kick. This fight sponsored by a Jet Life. Good movement by Jordan to set up that combination. Jordan with a record of 7-5-0 compared to Hussein's 3-1-0. Some more experience on the side of Monari. In on that double leg. Good defense by Jordan. Deep body lock. Looking for that outside trip. Turned it into a side dump. Nice mat return there from Hussein. Jordan doing a good job, though, of staying with his right side up against the cage. Seems looking to drag him back down. Jordan doing a good job of keeping far side wrist control. Hussein gets the takedown top position here. Got to try and free the head. Gets it done. Back to full guard. Minute and 20 left here in round one. Jordan's got to be careful when he's framing out. Well, he's already cut the eye. Yep, there is a cut on the right eye. Low with the overhook here up against the cage. Going to be difficult to kick off with the triangle. Well, at least he's uh, blocking the advance of the ground and pound here, breaking the posture. Let it go here now, forcing the head away, back to the overhook. Yeah, but Hussein's keeping his head nice and low right up underneath the chin, but it doesn't look like he's even attempted to posture up once. It does look like he's trying to pass. Ooh. Nice try, up kick there. Really impressive, impressive level of skill here from the amateurs. And Jordan doing a good job of defending from taking any heavy damage. First round flew by, but it was Hussein that established the trip to that top position. So I want to say it's a cut. Yeah, it's a cut on his right eye. Could have been from some of these shots exchanged close range. If you look at the replay here, double jab right hand. There was a shot from Hussein. want to try and create a bit of distance and use that striking. Jordan's looking to close things up.
Round two, Molinari in the blue. Hussein in the red. Hussein takes the center of the cage. Again, pushes Jordan's back up against. Oh, nice outside trip. Eats an uppercut for his troubles, though, does Hussein. Jordan's trying to use that speed to get inside to get the takedown because he's just outside of his reach, which is just inside Hussein's reach. It's nice head work there on the outside. Monari looking for the uh, counter, slips off with a jab. Oh! oh. Nice overhand right lands by Hussein. Jordan able to bounce back up from the knee. A momentary flash there for Molinari now. Hussein taking advantage of getting this fight down to the canvas. And again, Jordan looking to frame that head. Try to create a bit of space. He's got the, what is to us, near side overhook on that arm. Molinari looking to break the posture here, half bar flight. We're looking for a sweep. Referee's letting them work, though. And Hussein doing a good job of catching that leg, keeping him trapped. And Lowry gets his back to the canvas here in favor of evading capture from the back take from Hussein. Again, looking to try to frame out to create a bit of space. Hussein's doing a good job though, staying nice and tight, keeping that shoulder right up underneath Jordan's chin. Shoulder shots from Hussein in the top position. Referee asking for some more action. Hussein responds with the left hand. Hip escape from Mulanari. Hussein's doing a good job though, sitting on that half guard. Not allowing uh, Jordan to go anywhere because the only avenue of escape is the cage. Molinari looking for the up kick, misses it. Gives up the guard pass, heavy knee to the body for Hussein. Hussein exposes the back, heavy left hand slamming in. Molinari tries to get back to the feet, but is dragged back down again by Hussein. And the tail of this round was similar to what happened in the first, except for he got a... Jordan's the one that instigated that takedown. Third and final round, three minutes on the clock. Molinari in the blue corner, and Hussein in the red. So Hussein consistently control, get the takedown, get that top position, stifle the escape. Also a nice right hand. Momentarily wobbled Molinari. There it is again. And he looks to be trying to set it up by dipping down. Seeing if Molinari's hands are coming down and then he throws that overhand right. Great right. double leg takedown by Hussein. Yeah, the timing's beautiful with that takedown. Like I say, he changes levels to fake the takedown to gauge the reaction. And if it's there, he'll change levels and chase for the double leg. Passing to the opposite side of the choking arm as well to evade capture from the guillotine. 
They will settle now in side control. See if he looks to move to mount or if he goes knees to the body like he did in the second. Got to stay busy here and keep the ref happy though, otherwise he risks the stand up. He's worked hard to get here. This is where he dominates in this top position. He establishes the takedown, controls Molinari, prevents the stand up. And Molinari, it's about survival here. This is the first time since the first he started to work to wall walk to get back up. Hussein was able to sweep that ankle right up underneath him. Now elevating that left leg up, putting it on his own knee. Perfect time to just posture up and start raining down punches. Goes with the shoulder. Molinari working off the back here. Open guard for Molinari. Staying in the top position. Tight ground and pound action from Hussein. Hussein looks like to be trying to posture up maybe to clear that leg and start throwing some hammers down. Buffalo hooks here for Molinari. If you get the feet on the hips, he could potentially kick away and spring back to his feet. This thing keeps doing a good job, though, of trapping both. Oh, legs. big up kick. Straight through the center. Hussein doesn't seem wobbled, though. Might walk into an armbar attempt, though. Or a triangle. At that point, you want to clear those legs and get away from them flying up towards your head. And he sat right there. Monari looking for the space. Eats a few right hands. There's the up kicks again. Nice time in there from Hussein. As he came back in, he waited for Molinari to sit up. So Molinari couldn't fire those up kicks up the center as he came in. You know, on paper, 7-5-0 record for Molinari and a 3-1-0 for Hussein. As we said in the first round, Molinari with the definitive experience advantage. Take a look at the replay here. And this was that setup for the takedown. He would dip down to throw that overhand right. And the next time he dipped down, both of Jordan's hands came up. And he was able to get in on that double leg. We have a consolidation of the judges' scorecards here. Cage side as we hand it over to Ricky Wright, RMC for the evening here at Five Star Championship. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the uh, judges' scorecards. For your winner by unanimous decision, in the red corner, Sabir Hus.